been blogging for quite a while, but you've heard that video engages a lot more than text, and that is true. So you thought you'll give vlogging a go. Now, you've got one of these, an iPhone 4. Have you spotted the mistake? This isn't actually an iPhone 4. I'm filming on my iPhone 4. This is an iPhone 3 that my son dropped down the toilet. It's fine because it's no good for filming vlogs, but the iPhone 4, which I am filming on, is great. But obviously I can't film on it and use it at the same time to show you how to use it, so I'm using this as a prop. But just imagine it's the 4 and it's got the little camera there. Okay, so my camera is set. I'm getting ready to go and... Well, actually, you don't want to film this way. Our eyes go left and right, not up and down. So we're used to seeing stuff in landscape. Landscape is the way television works, it's the way our eyes work, it's a lot more pleasing to look at. Portrait is great for photos, but not for video. So have your camera that way, and then you press record. Well, actually, no. If you hold the camera like that, it's gonna be a bit wobbly, and people don't really like wobbly vision for professional films. So what you need to do is to find a way to mount the phone. There are various different ways. You can get phone holders that you can put on tripod. You can use a car phone holder that you use in your car and stick it on something. Be creative, find a way and mount your phone so it is stable. So it's stable, it's ready to go, you've got it on your stand, you press record and off you go. The thing is, your phone is quite a distance from you now and the microphone that is in the phone is also quite a distance. So if you use that microphone, you're going to sound a bit echoey. You could hold the microphone in the phone a bit closer like this, but then you'd be filming up your nose. And who wants to see that? So what I do, see this? This is the earpiece thing with the hands free, you know, you can use it in your car and it's got the little microphone here. It's plugged into the phone. I've got it connected to the phone and now the microphone is just going to sit to set, which means it's collecting the sound here rather than all the way over there. And it's going to sound better. It's also quite good because the length of the cable, for me, I've worked out is actually quite a good distance to be from the phone to get a decent framed shot. So there are lots and lots of things to think about. When well, filming with your phone, you want to get the best shot, you want to get lovely framing, you want to get this apple white look, you want to know how to do a shot that cuts in with another shot, you want to know how to edit, you want to put graphics and text and stuff. I'll tell you what, if you want to learn all that, I can teach you. So if you're interested, check out my website, send me an email, and hopefully I'll see you at one of my courses soon. Until then, it's a wrap.